Public Library. My name is Miss Caitlin and today we are using our scarves in the songs towards the end of story time. So please grab a scarf-like object for those songs. Now it's time to get our hands ready. We're going to begin with bread and butter. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as high as we can. Oh! Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as low as we can. Low. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as quiet as we can. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as loud as we can. Hello! Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as fast as we can. <laughs> Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as slow as we can. Hello! Very nice. Now let's get our fingers ready again with the itsy bitsy spider. The itsy bitsy spider climbed up the water spout. Down came the rain that washed the spider out. Out came the sun that dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider climbed up the spout again. So let's talk about numbers again. Last time we did the number one. What comes after the number one? It's two. Two is not our number today. Mm -mm. We are not going in order. Our number is five. Can you count to five? One, two, three, four, five. Just like this. One, two, three, four, five. That is our number today. And just like last week, we're going to learn a word of the day. Today's word of the day is terrific. Terrific means really good. So if you ever come to find yourself saying really good, you could say terrific instead and impress the grown-ups around you. Let's sing a song. We are going to sing the five little ducks. See, I have my ducky there. Since our number for today is five. So can you get your five ducklings ready? And your mama duck on the other hand, quack quack. Let's begin. Five little ducks went out one day over the hills and far away. Mother duck said quack 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 quack, but only four little ducks came back. Four little ducks went out one day over the hills and far away. Mother duck said quack 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 quack, but only three little ducks came back. Three little ducks went out one day over the hills and far away. Mother duck said quack 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 quack, but only two little ducks came back. Two little ducks went out one day over the hills and far away. Mother duck said quack, 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 but only one little duck came back. One little duck went out one day over the hills and far away. Mother duck said quack, 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 but none of her five little ducks came back. Now sad mother duck went out one day over the hills and far away, Mother Duck said, Quack, 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 quack. 
And all of her five little ducks came back. Today we are going to read Five Little Monkeys Wash the Car by Eileen Cristolo. That looks like a fun summertime activity. Washing the car, like running through the sprinklers. Nice and refreshing on a hot day. The five little monkeys and mama can never drive far in their rickety rattle trap wreck of a car. I've had it, said Mama. Let's sell this old heap. She makes a big sign that says, car for sale, cheap. Their car does look fairly broken. Then Mama goes in. There's some work I should do. Okay, say the monkeys. We have work too. This car is so icky, so sticky and slimy. How can we sell an old car that's so grimy? I know, says one little monkey. What would you do if the car was too dirty? So two little monkeys spray with a hose, while three little monkeys scrub the car till it glows. But the car is still rusty. It stinks. Oh, P.U. No one will buy it. What can we do? I know, says one little monkey. So they wash the outside. Now what can they do? Then four little monkeys find paint in the shed. Blue, yellow, and green, purple, pink, and bright red. They paint the old car with designs all around, while one little monkey sprays perfume he found. <laughs> Just so you know, perfume is a temporary improvement in smell. It doesn't, <laughs> it's not going to fix that permanently. Five little monkeys sit down and wait, but no one comes by, and it's getting late. The car looks terrific! Do you remember what terrific means? Really good! It smells so good too. Maybe no one can see it here. What should we do? I know, says one little monkey. So three little monkeys start pushing the car. The monkey who's steering can't see very far. Then one little monkey shouts, park it right here. Wait, it's rolling too fast. Can't you stop? Can't you steer? The monkey who's steering can't reach the brakes. The car rolls downhill to the... Brown Swampy Lake. Well, now we're in trouble. We're stuck in this goo. We'll never get out. Oh, what can we do? We know, rumbles a voice from the swamp. <gasps> what lives in the swamp? Five little monkeys all shout. One crocodile says, we'll help you get out. Should, should they trust the crocodiles? More crocodiles rise from the wet swampy goo. We'll push this old car, but you must push too. The monkeys all quake. What they say isn't true. They'll eat us for supper. Oh, what can we do? I know, says one little monkey. Oh, crocodiles, she calls. I heard you were strong, but if you need our help, I must have heard wrong. We're strong, roared the crocs. We're the strongest by far, and we can push anything, even a car. They're going to trick the crocodiles. So they puff, and they pent, and they look very ill, but they push that old car to the top of the hill. Then one monkey whispers, we're still in a stew. If they don't go home now, what can we do? I know, says one little monkey. Poor Crocs, 
say the monkeys. How tired you are. You'll never walk home. What you need is a... Car! The crocodiles buy it. They pay with a check, then climb right inside. We can use this old wreck. <laughs> the monkeys all run to tell Mama their tale. You might have been eaten! She's turning quite pale. We know, say the monkeys, we're lucky, it's true. But we did sell the car. Can we buy one that's new? <laughs> then five little monkeys and mama go shop for a fancy new car with a convertible top. And the crocodiles? They really like their old heap. It's such a fine cool car for a long summer's. sleep. <laughs> I bet that car gets nice and warm in the sunshine. It would be good to lie on and nap for a crocodile. <laughs> the end. So the next song we're going to do is not one we've done in these videos yet before, but I have done them in story times and so has Miss Kathy. It's a sailing song. It's a counting song. And we're going to go up, I think, to the number four today. I don't want to do too many. So we are going to do um, counting to the number four in our little sea shanty. <laughs> when I was one, I went looking for fun. The day I went to sea, I jumped aboard a sailing ship. And the captain said to me, we're going this. Way and that way and forwards and backwards over the deep blue sea with a song to hum and food in me tongue and that's the life for me. What comes after one? Two. When I was two I buckled my shoe the day I went to sea I jumped aboard a sailing ship and the captain said to me, we're going this way and that way and forwards and backwards over the deep blue sea with a song to hum and food in me tum and that's the life for me. What comes after two? Three. When I was three, I climbed a tree the day I went to sea. I jumped aboard a sailing ship and the captain said to me, we're going this way and that way and forwards and backwards over the deep blue sea with a song to hum, food in me tum, and that's the life for me. Last one we're going to do is four. When I was four, I shut the door the day I went to sea. I jumped aboard a sailing ship and the captain said to me, we're going this way and that way, forwards and backwards over the deep blue sea with a song to hum, food in me tum, and that's the life for me. the next two songs. The first song we're going to sing with our scarf is called We Wave Our Scarves Together. We wave our scarves together, we wave our scarves together, we wave our scarves together. Because it's fun to do, we wave them all up high, we wave them all down low, we wave them in the middle. Because it's fun to do. Now let's throw them. We throw our scarves together. We throw our scarves together. Throw our scarves together. Because it's fun to do. We throw them all up high. We throw them all down low. We throw them in the middle. Because it's fun to do. Very good. Now, let's sing the alphabet song. That's right. We are going to sing the alphabet song and wave our scarf with every letter that we sing. 
A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? All right, everybody, that's it for story time. Before we say goodbye, let's practice our counting once more. Today, our number was five. So can you help me count to five here with our numbers? We have one, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, and five, five. Now we can count to five. Very good. Let's say goodbye by singing Tickle the Clouds. Tickle the clouds, tickle your toes, turn around and tickle your nose. Reach down low, reach up high, story time is over. Now say goodbye. <laughs> goodbye everybody and I will see you next time.